What's up everybody? Jesse, Slot City Fishing, uh, making this video by request. Uh, you guys have probably seen my how to surf fish video. It's got well over 100,000 views now. And a lot of the comments were asking uh, for me to describe my surf fishing rig. So today we brought out the beast. I'm not saying that this is the best surf fishing rig. I'm gonna get comments saying that theirs is better or whatever. This one's just mine. Uh, I've been working on this one for years, like developing the process, how I do it. So I'm gonna show you everything. This is what I take to the beach. I normally don't take this much gear with me unless it's me and my brother both going to shoot an episode. Um, but yeah, we're gonna talk about everything from the cart, rods, reels, what's inside, the baits I take and stuff like that. So uh, let's do it. Before we get started, if you hadn't heard of Slot City Fishing, uh, we're a channel, three brothers, two of us are active duty military. I know my hair is long, but they waive the uh, grooming standards because of COVID right now. Uh, but we do a lot of travel videos because of uh, us being in the military. We do a lot of how-to videos, reviews. We're about to do the big 10,000 sub giveaway. We got 9,400 subs today. Uh, once we hit 10K, I got a whole bunch of companies on board that are gonna be sending out some cool stuff. Uh, like uh, Woody's Popping Corks, uh, we got Texas Rattler Jigs, uh, Resellers Reef is a local shop down here, and there's a ton more. Uh, I'll, I'll list them all here. But anyway, scroll through our other content after this video, because if you enjoy this, you're probably gonna like our other stuff. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, that way you're up to date. Uh, we're always posting the most current thing happening, so you'll get like a up-to-date fishing report and stuff. But yeah, let's get into the cart. All right, so the cart itself, I'm pretty sure they're called, uh, it's fishing me. Yeah, there's a sticker right there. This is the big cart. Um, you need a beach cart, man, if you're if you're surf fishing. And then also, even if you're just a land-based fisherman, like walking out on on the bridges and piers and stuff like that, a surf fishing cart is a game changer because you can take more stuff. You can take a big cooler. Uh, you can put your drinks and stuff in there. All the fish you catch. So uh, this is the one that I recommend. Is the fishing mate. It's made of aluminum. I used to have the balloon tires on there. Um, but one of them popped and then things are stupid expensive, man. So um, I just got these right here. I don't, I don't know exactly which ones they are, but uh, they don't go through the sand as well as the balloon ones, but they're way more durable. And a pro tip for you, if you have these kind of wheels, is uh, let some of the air out of it and it'll go through the sand better. Uh, but yeah, that's the cart. It holds eight rods and a big old cooler. I'm not really quite sure what size this one is, but it's, it's pretty big. All right. Um, yeah, so we would roll up with all of our stuff. And then first thing I would start doing is uh, setting up my sand spikes. Uh, this is convenient for me because they all fit in the, in the handle right there. And uh, this is how I actually drag it through the sand. But once I get out there, I start setting up my sand spikes. These are also made by Fish and Mate. And uh, these are kind of expensive, but man, it's worth it because I used to use PVC and I was constantly having to like replace the PVC because you're gonna like, smash it with a hammer and it's gonna crack and break. It's gonna get brittle in the sun, dry rot, all that stuff. So these also have these feet on them. So whenever you get to a new spot, uh, you just step on this thing and it goes down into the sand. You don't gotta carry a mallet or a hammer or anything like that. And they're super convenient. They also have this black cap that will protect your reel seats on there. Uh, once I got the sand spikes set up, I'll put my rods out there, depending on what I'm targeting that day. Uh, what I take the most with me is just these four surf rods, all right? Uh, these two are my brothers. If y'all watch my other videos, uh, you know that like, I kind of talk smack about the Ben Fisher 6 a little bit. Um, we got it to use it, whatever. Uh, it's a killer reel, man. The line lay on it is awesome and it casts super far, but these reels there, these setups are expensive. So if you're just getting into it, you don't need uh, these types of setups. Um, these would be fine for you, like a pin fierce. Uh, there's a three now, uh, just get that combo. That'll get you started. But let me say this, um, nice surf fishing gear makes a big difference because you're gonna be able to cast farther without having to whip it as hard. So you're not gonna be cutting your fingers. And this is for spinning stuff, I use spinning gear. Um, you're just gonna have a more enjoyable time. So if you can shell out the extra coin, get the more expensive stuff when you're surf fishing. Uh, rods, I recommend the Penn Battalions. If you're gonna spend the money, those are awesome rods. Uh, whatever you get, you want it in the 10 to 12 foot range. These are gonna be for casting out far, like over the breakers and stuff like that. Um, so 10 to 12 foot range is what I recommend on it. And then like your nicer rods are more stout, so you can really cast out some heavy weights. Like you probably heard the saying, um, eight and bait, that's an eight ounce weight with your bait on there. 
you need rods that are stout to be able to do that. And then uh, I also take with me some small rods and that's because uh, depending on what I'm targeting, there might be stuff just in the whitewash in the surf. Like for instance, if you're in our local area right now in Jacksonville, the speckled trout are in the surf. My buddy Chip caught a really nice one on a top water the other day. Uh, and then also just something that's really fun is top water to catch ladyfish. And ladyfish are an incredible cut bait for surf fishing because they're very oily and red drum smash them. Uh, so yeah, this is two spin fishers. They're uh, 6,000 and 5,000 on a 10 and 12 foot pin battalion. These are star rods with a pin fierce uh, live liner. You'll notice most of my reels surf fishing are live liner reels too because if you chuck out big baits uh, it lets the fish pick it up. They can run with the line and uh, you don't got to worry about messing with your drag. I got a question about that is how do you set your drag when you're surf fishing. If you use live liner reels you don't have to do that because you flip the live liner down right here and then you're on your top drag which is a lighter drag and then when the fish gets it you flip it over and now that goes back up and now you're on your top drag, which you know you could set to however much you wanted, like 10, 15, 20 pounds of drag, whatever. Uh, for the small rods, this is a toadfish inshore rod, the same fish that I, or same rod I would take on my boat with a spin fisher and 3,500. All your uh, rods and reels, you want them to be saltwater resistant because it's gonna get salt spray on it. And you're probably, if you don't rinse it and it's not saltwater resistant, that reel's probably only gonna last you a few, a few trips. This one, uh, I would use it for throwing like a top water or a hard bait, something like that. Then this is a big guy. This is a, a St. Croix Mojo inshore and it can cast a big old weight, uh, two ounces. I'll use this for throwing big spoons to try to catch big surf monsters like, uh, I don't know, um, big bull red, stuff like that. Uh, it would be impressive, but like cobias and kings and stuff like that. But what I really use this for is in Jacksonville during the mullet run. This is a 5500 Slammer 3. It's got a ton of drag on it. I use this for tarpon fishing. I tie a uni to uni knot. This is 50 pound braid uh, down to 60 pound fluorocarbon leader with a six out circle hook. And uh, you can catch big old tarpon in the surf. Uh, my favorite place to do that is Amelia Island and um, Matanzas Inlet if you're local to our area. But you could do the same thing anywhere. You just throw a big old mullet on there. And if the tarpon are around, they'll smash them. Then another thing that you can do to catch pompano and whiting is use a Carolina rig. That's what I use this one for. Um, this is the new Pen Battle 3. We recently got this reel and did a review on it. You can check that out on the channel. We're giving this away. And this is a real wicked rod, um, custom rod built by uh, Miss Lori. Uh, great company. She's been supporting the channel for years and uh, she can make you anything you want. I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, Carolina rig for um, like whiting, even pompano. You can finesse pompano, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, that's my rod and reel setup. And then, like I said, I usually don't bring all this stuff. If it's just me out there, I usually just take like the four surf rods and maybe one or two of the light rods. Uh, if it's me and Nick going, we'll take all this stuff. Um, yeah, so we'll get the rods set up out there. Now let's talk about bait and tackle. All right, the best thing is like the freshest live bait from the water that you're fishing in because that's what uh, they're eating out there. So sand flea rake, uh, when the sand fleas are running, you don't got to pay for bait anymore. These things will pay for themselves after just a couple of trips. And uh, if they're out there, you can just fill up a whole bucket full of live sand fleas. Uh, and then uh, if it's during the mullet run, I'll bring my big cast net with me. During the mullet run, like when you throw your cast net, you'll fill up a whole cooler on one throw. Um, so that's the preferred bait. Then here's a cool thing I really like about this igloo cooler is it's got this hatch right here and then that gives me access to what's inside my cooler without having to actually open it. Nick broke my cooler by the way. You can buy replacement uh, hinges for it though. So um, when you can't get live bait, the bait that I recommend, somebody asked me about this bag. This is the uh, Florida Surf Tackle. A guy named Mark Burford makes these. And it holds on my rigs, I'll show you. It's hard to do one-handed. Boom. 
So when you can't get live bait, fish bites, fish strips, that's the best thing. There's a lot of other companies that make stuff that's similar to this. Don't waste your time. These are the best ones. All right, so before I go out on my trips, I always tie all my rigs. That way I don't got to worry about rigging out there because uh, in the ocean, the fish, they move in schools. So once the school goes through, that might be your only opportunity to catch fish that day. So if you break off, you just want to be able to tie right quick. So um, I'm not going to show you how to tie these rigs. I have another video about that, how exactly I do this. But you can see in this bag, I got a whole bunch of pre-made rigs. And let's see, like, I don't know, man. There's like probably 50 rigs already tied in there. Um, that's using the sinker guy, Mr. Chip Brundage's uh, rig board. There's a video on how you make it, and then I have a video on how you use it. Uh, I'll put both of those in the description of the video. That'll save you a lot of time and headache because your rigs are ready to go. You just gotta go tie one on and you're ready to fish. Um, and then on my double drop rigs, uh, I'll usually put like a little bit of sand flea strip and then I always bring a pair of kitchen shears with me. That way you can cut that stuff. If my wife sees this, she's probably gonna kill me because I stole those from the kitchen. Um, yeah, I'll use the fish bites and then tip it with fresh dead shrimp. And that's what I catch 90% of my fish on in my videos is just fish bites with fresh dead shrimp. All right. Uh, and then if you want to soak big baits in that same rig video, I show you a rig that you can use for big stuff. Use that top water setup, catch you a, a mullet. If you caught a whiting, whiting is great cut bait too. Uh, you can throw it out on a big old hook and that'll work for you well. And then for uh, lures in the surf, these are my same boxes that I bring inshore fishing. And then just a good old top water match the hatch uh, color is this guy right here. This mullet. Skitter V. Uh, the she dogs and she pups, they also work really well. Um, yeah, just play around with it. Colors, I like bone and then anything in mullet presentation. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Yeah, so here's the inside of my cooler. Uh, this piece came from another cooler and just coincidentally it like fits it perfectly. So you can use a bucket, whatever, and this separates like my stuff that I want to keep dry from the stuff that's going to be in the ice. Some people bring more than one cooler because they don't want their drinks to be in the same water as the fish, but I don't care, man. I'm going to drink the water out of the, out of the fish water guy. That's fine with me. Um, the weights that I use for my double dropper rigs are also made by the sinker guy. Uh, these are the best weights that I've ever used, and he's local and a good friend of mine, support local business. Um, yeah, they're Sputnik sinkers that um, when you drag them through the sand, these little prongs flip back and they hold bottom like crazy. Uh, like where you would normally need like a six ounce, a four ounce, four ounce will hold. And then when you pull it, it comes back in like these, uh, these prongs aren't even there. Then I take a knife, pliers, and some spare leader, just in case, like if I get broke off on one of my lures. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, shameless plug for us. Uh, we do sell all this stuff on our Amazon affiliate uh, store. There will be links uh, in that in the description. Any purchase that you make, uh, we get a small kickback of that money and that helps to support the channel. However, um, support your local shops. If they have this stuff, go buy it from them first. Um, here we got Resellers Reef and Strike Zone Fishing. Those are my two favorite stores in the Jacksonville area. And then you got, uh, there's, there's a whole bunch like Avid Angler and stuff like that down south, but uh, shop local first. Um, yeah, if you got any questions about this stuff, I answer all your comments. I spent probably two hours today just scrolling through y'all's comments, answering as many questions as I could. So I really appreciate you guys and y'all supporting the YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we got that big 10,000 sub giveaway coming up and then turn on notifications. Uh, I'm going to start doing a notification squad and giveaway like within the first 24 hours of a video being uploaded. If it gets a like and a comment, uh, I'm going to select one of those randomly and then just send you out probably some fish bites lures. Um, yeah.
I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Yo, yo. <laughs> Did you see him jump? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>